So I didn't know how to spell my name until I was in like year 10. And parents were uh, told like schools that it was spelled L-I-L-L-I-A-N-N-A. So that's how it was written on the register. So that's how I would write my name up until year 10. And I came into school and I was like, please start just calling me Lily because it's so much simpler. And um, L-I-L-I-A-N-A. So we've got me, my brother, um, brother's 20 now. Um, Rosie is 17 and Angelica is 11. So your dad's name is? Pietro, Pietro, Pietro. Rossi. Well, this is mum and Pietro back in the day. Um, yeah, they're both very good looking people. He was back then at least. Um, stunning. <laughs> Pretty. They're in Italy, old and Christian. Like just after, like me was when Chris, was when Pedro started being weird again. Um, yeah, that's them getting off. That's lovely, isn't it? Said she had such a like struggled and troubled relationship with everything he had like done to you and made you do. Would you say that you you did love him as a father? No, he was um a bastard. We he would steal things all the time. He would lie all the time. He would fight all the time. He constantly demanded respect despite everything that he'd like do like when we did have good times we'd just be stealing from the shop and you know never had any good times with him by that like forgiving the things that he's done because he was um like addicted to heroin and whatever but like it, because i've grown up with him like i've just i've hated him for it like that was his choice you know like he had a loving family and whatever and he constantly made things about himself he was an absolute drama queen um yeah like we've just you know, as I said, forgave him for things that he did because I don't think, like, mentally he could help it. Um, he eventually went back to Italy because, like, he'd run out of money here, like, and he was, like, in fucking loads of debt and whatever. There was a good, was it, like, two years that we were getting dominoes for Christmas? It was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then the next day our mum would make Christmas dinner because we wanted just to kick back on Christmas. And then she'd, the next day, just make an abundance of Christmas. Because they always just want food, like, and pizza, and, like... So my dad passed away in 2014 on Christmas Eve. We'd been told like he was on his deathbed for like two weeks. We didn't know like, how long he had left, but I refused to speak to him because we just ha weren't, we didn't have a good relationship. And Rosie had spoken to him. Angelica spoke to him and Christian had spoken to him, but this was just on the phone um, because obviously he was in Italy, so they couldn't see him. Um, not that we wanted to, because before that we were trying to kick him out of the house anyway. Um, and then my mum passed 2017 on the 15th of March and that was, it was, we weren't expecting it like at all, like she was ill for a bit but we'd only been told that she was getting better and better, like she went into a coma for like a good life, I think it was like seven or eight months um, but we were all really young so like don't really remember it that much and then a police woman came to the back door and was knocking on the fence and I was just like oh my gosh, like I was like she's like here because we're smoking weed, like what the fuck um, and she was like um, can, like, are you Amanda's kid? And I was like, yeah, I'm Amanda's kid. And she was like, can I speak to you, please? And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Like, I knew instantly like, what this was going to be about. It was like, we had to tell Angelica and Christian, we were like, look, let's have tonight. Like, give them tonight because they're just going to, like, it's already, it was like 12 o'clock at this point. Like, it was a, a long, long night. Um, just like, give them tonight, it'll be fine, whatever. And me and Rosie decided to get fucking drunk because obviously we just had to. So yeah, I mean, Rosie got smashed. These people came around. The house was trashed. They instantly felt like everything was like bad conditions. Like there was no chance that I could look after like these kids because I was nineteen and Christian is incapable of anything. Like he has no documents to even say that he's alive. Like he's literally been inside of his room his whole life. And I told Christian first. I said, um, Christian, I got some news today, and my mum's passed. And he was just like, "What we're we gonna do?" Like straight away, didn't like he wasn't like how about like how did she die? What happened? Just like what do we do? He was out of the question, like they straight away said that I was next in kin and when they came around they said like you need to stay with like one of your family relatives because this isn't a good like family dynamic, like you need adults in the house. <clears throat> so like that for a good three months I had to fight for Angelica and Rosie and like while this was happening I had to get the fucking funeral in order and all this shit as well. Yeah, my relationship with my mum's always been like absolutely amazing, like the best woman in the world, like 
don't understand how she ever managed to get with Pietro. Like, in her defence, he was good looking when he was younger, but he was an absolute bastard. <laughs> Went to the shop every day, like, with her. We'd come home, we'd clean up, we'd cook. I didn't do the bills, but to be fair, neither did she, did she like, <laughs> she didn't know shit about bills. So, like, when she had passed, it was easier to, like, take on the kids because I kind of knew what I was doing. I knew, like, the ropes. So it wasn't, like, a big leap, which is why I was fighting for it. Like, if I didn't think I could do it, I wouldn't have done it. But, yeah, it was harder than I thought it would be, but it's fine now. Um, I used to work inside a hotel with my mum down the road. Um, she was, like, the head chambermaid, and I was a chambermaid and a waitress. So every time that we would finish work, we'd like go to the co-op and then we'd get our money out and we'd go to this little cafe um, and that was quite a regular thing because obviously it was work so we did that like every day um, so because I was at work and dogs didn't get to do it with us I actually like offered and she did it with us once um, but like I kept telling her I wanted to take her back so it was nice that we did it today um, I took my like auntie and like gran there as well because they asked if like there was anywhere that me and my mum would like go and then I said yeah that cafe so it like does it's it's nice it's nice to go there because that's where we go all the time. Right, why don't you show me your own work? Cause I I'll, it's full. Cause I've got homework club to go to. And when's that? It's Monday. Mike, Monday. When's that been happening from? Never heard of homework club. I've told you about homework. No, you haven't. Yes, you I have. All the time. Yes, I have. Look, you cannot really just pull this face and assume and think that I'm just gonna believe whatever you say because you've gone. Uh, uh. Really? Where's my mat? Where's my mat? Oh, where does it say homework club? Yeah, my no, mat is not to do with Yeah, Lily, I have to go You've to my mat. You've come home and said, oh, Lily, I need, I've got my mat homework to do. And I'm like, yeah. okay, is that fine? And then, and now suddenly you've got this homework yeah. club you can go yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, I've had it for ages. Ages, have you? I haven't gone. <laughs> I can't do it on other people, so good luck. I can do it. I can do it. Mm. Are they outside the house? Silver for, oh yeah, silver for your boyfriend, okay. You are going to school, <laughs> missus, and that's it! <laughs> oh. Yeah, no. you are. <laughs> to school! <laughs> no. Oh, I'll just go like this then. Oh. <laughs> Bye, John, I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been inside the kitchen though and seen a fucking dish. At least, at least three dishes to be fair. So... What? Yeah, wasn't me. I bet it was. Probably Chris. Probably Chris. Christian blames you as well though, so it's just a fucking flip-flop. Is that what I came into? Living in the oven. At 12 o'clock at night you made her chips. At <laughs> 12 o'clock at night Christian made Angelica chips. Are you having a laugh? Jelly! Tea's ready! <laughs> that tea doesn't even work! Have you got out in, man? Walking out of town Looking for a better place And this side is, I tried to, so like my mum's style of drawing was really, really like elongated like women and so like, I tried to do it and it was like alien-esque sort of thing. I tried to copy it and did not look anything like it. Like she, hers is like stunning. Um, like that's just like something small. Yeah, that's really not nothing, but that's something. And that's baby legs buzz. Very proud. The plan is once Angelica is like grown up and like old enough to look after herself, like I'm off, that's it. Like I'll be somewhere else. I don't think my life is gonna be like what it is I work as, it's gonna be like what I do outside of work. So whatever pays the bills is fine.
you know, just travel wherever's like cheapest and then I'll go to the next place once I've got enough money. That's the plan.